right. I'm waiting for my water to get hot. There's the rest of my water down there. I'll pull that out. This is the doggy bath thing that I bought. First time trying it. I don't even know if my butt's going to fit in there, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, you can see that there's dirty water in the bathtub, but not... My hair is clean, but there's still lots of soap in it, so I don't know how that's going to feel later. But uh, anyways, even I can see now that my, my butt fits in there but my knees are squished way up to my chest so how do you possibly get clean in that so while i feel a lot cleaner than i did and i'm super happy about that i am this is not going to happen again but look at my view from my bathtub there's even geckos running around out there well that feels way better, but <laughs> like I said, I am not doing that again. Um, whether I post, uh, there's a video that I recorded last night and I'm not sure if I'm gonna post it or not because I was pretty discouraged last night. And, uh, but I think that I'm holding true to what I said. And that was that I feel like this van is not going to work for me. I love this van. And there's so many practical things about it. It's small. It can be stealth when it needs to be. Um, I feel like it's safe for me because nobody looks at a black Dodge Grand Caravan because there's a hundred million of them on the roads. Um, so I can blend in and, and not be part of anything. And the gas mileage is better than it would be in a bigger vehicle and but today having this shower and knowing that I will never do that again it was too much work for so little payoff I mean yeah my hair is clean but you know the whole point is so that I can have a good shower and feel really clean and I don't feel like that happened I ran out of Oh, I didn't run out. Well, yeah, I kind of ran out of water too. The water was cold and I think the only way to do it is with the back door open like this because the it slopes here so it just would I think water would have gone everywhere and I was using a mug to um, pour the water because again I couldn't make my shower pumps work. I don't know why I have so much trouble but I think I might have left a cord at home uh, for the charger for the actual pump that I bought that works. I can't remember. I have two pumps here now and I don't remember which is the old one and which is the new one. The old one is didn't work and the new one did. So there's my upside down doggy bath. I'm just draining it so that I can throw it somewhere else in my van where it's not taking up space because I'm not gonna use it again. Um, probably should have showed it before but as you can probably tell one it's upside down so the blue part is the base and the red part are the sides and it folds up so it unfolded to go into that area that you saw in the in a previous shot um, so I'm just draining it I'm going to give it away or sell it or I don't know what I'm going to do with it and the hose that's around it was how I was going to drain it when I was done but I actually managed to pull the sides up over the edge of my van and then grab the water part and sort of dump it onto the ground. And so it actually worked fine, that part. But anyways, um, what I initially started this clip for was that little table that I've been throwing from front to back of my van without using it hardly at all. Um, I decided to put out here so that I could, you also saw in a pre previous clip that I heated my water on it. I was trying to figure out how I was going to get the water to the back after I'd heated it. Well, this popped into my mind and I actually think this is when it's not windy and maybe when it's mildly rainy because, you know, the back door of my van somewhat covers it. I can use that for cooking. Still doesn't solve the fridge issue. I, I can get into the fridge better than I could before, but 
still not great and I'll try and do a clip of that at some point too if I remember. Well hopefully you made it all the way through the video to this part because just ignore everything I said. Okay not quite. I um I've been out of the van for three or four weeks now and this is the first time I've watched that video since I got home and I've been doing a lot of thinking about some of the things that I've said in, in this video and in the last video about the van not working for me and um, the van has to work for me because it's the van that I have and I can't afford a different one and because I do have a home that I have to come back to uh, I may have mentioned before but the only way I'm able to get into my home is by driving into the garage uh, this the hill is too steep for me to wheel up the driveway so I have to drive into my home so this is the van that fits in my garage and you know buying a sprinter van or something bigger that would definitely be more convenient uh, I wouldn't be able to come home ever so that's not an option either so I like I've mentioned in my videos I really do like my van I'm keeping it and the same goes for the shower. Um, I, I've i been remembering back to when I had that shower and I really did feel good after I had it, even though it wasn't as ideal as say, um, checking into a hotel and uh, you know, having a really good shower like that. I did feel really good. I felt cleaner than I ever do with wipes or, or like a sponge bath type thing that I normally do. So, I am going to try and re rework that shower. I've had a friend suggest maybe um, sitting on something where the water runs out of the van. And I sort of discounted that, but I actually think that a modification of that idea, sitting on something where I'm showering, my feet are down in the shower, in, the, in that doggy bath, but I'm sitting on my bed with something waterproof so that the water will run down into the shower, into the, sorry, into the doggy bath, uh, might work. So anyways, I haven't given up. I have new ideas. It's too cold uh, where I am right now to get out camping, but it's actually this coming weekend supposed to get really warm. So I'm hoping to get back in my van. I've been out of it for about four weeks now and I just, I'm <laughs> really itching to get back into it. So we will see what happens. Uh, anyways, just, I think my last few videos have been kind of discouraging, so, um, and negative, but I'm really positive. I've been out of my van. I've had time to think about a few things. I think it's good that I'm not full-time. I think one of the benefits of not being full-time is that you can have time away from the van and have hindsight and then go back into it with fresh ideas and, and start again. So anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I think it was kind of short, but um, that's all I got for this week. So we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.